हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट रेस्पिरेशन इन आर्थ्रोपोडा रेस्पिरेशन इन आर्थ्रोपोडा आर्थ्रोपोड्स ऑक्यूपाई अ वैरायटी ऑफ हैबिटेट्स बोथ टेरेस्ट्रियल एंड एक्वाइटिक डिपेंडिंग ऑन देयर हैबिटेट और मोड ऑफ लिविंग आर्थ्रोपोड्स हैव एनी वन और मोर ऑफ द फॉलोइंग रेस्पिरेटरी ऑर्गन्स बॉडी सरफेस रेस्पिरेशन थ्रू द बॉडी सरफेस इज कॉमनली फाउंड इन स्मॉल आर्थ्रोपोड्स दैट आर एक्वाइटिक क्रिस्टासिन्स दैट आर स्मॉलर सच एज कॉपेपोड्स एंड ऑस्ट्राकोड्स सब क्लासेस ऑफ द क्लास क्रिस्टासी अलाउ गैस एक्सचेंज एस्पेशली बाय कंज्यूमिंग ऑक्सीजन थ्रू देयर बॉडी सरफेस बिकॉज दीज एनिमल्स हैव लार्जर सरफेस एरिया टू बॉडी मास रेसियो गिल्स दे आर द मेजर ऑर्गैन्स ऑफ रेस्पिरेशन इन एक्वाइटिक आर्थ्रोपोड्स दे आर बेस्ट डेवलप्ड in the class crustacea while some other arthropods may have modified or specialized gills the gills are enclosed in a gill chamber which is located on each lateral side of cephalothorax and is covered by the gill cover also known as ब्रैंकियोस्टेजाइट और कैरापेस द ब्रैंकियोस्टेजाइट इज एक्चुअली द इनर पार्ट ऑफ द पारापेस दैट कवर्स द सेफालोथोरैक्स एंड कंसिस्ट ऑफ अ वेस्कुलर रेस्पिरेटरी एपिथेलियम द गिल्स यूजली आराइज एज दे पुश और imaginations of the body wall gill structure a typical gill is shaped like a crescent or half moon shaped it has a central axis on each side in which blade like gill filaments or gill lamellae are arranged each gill filament having one end is attached to the axis while the other end is blind or free each gill filament is supplied by an afferent and efferent branching channel branches that run through the axis this figure defines gills of pelamon with exposed gill chamber types of gills depending on the size of the gill filament phylobranchiate gill in this type the filaments are flat broad leaf like and arranged in two rows for example crabs and prawn trichobranchiate gill in this type the filaments are tubular or tube shaped there is a central axis and several lateral filaments that formed from the sides of the body or form an outgrowth of the skin of the legs for examples crayfish and rock lobster this is the figure that shows gills in decapod crustace dendrobranchiate gill in this type the leaf like septum is divided into fine branching filaments for example prawn depending on the method of attachment podobranch usually a pair of small gills attached to the coxa of the cephalothoracic appendages that is the coxa of the maxillipeds for example macrobranchium species and pinea species arthrobranch the gills are attached 
to the orthodontal membrane that connects the appendages of the cephalothorax for example pineal species and palamon species pleurobranch the gills are attached to the lateral wall of the thorax for example palamon species modification of gills in phyllocorida broad epipodites of thoracic appendages serves as gills also seen in cumi in amphipoda gills are like plates in decapoda palinero species the gills are flattened in phyllopoda leaf like pleopods a forked swimming organ of crustaceans of which five pairs are usually attached to the abdomen serves as gills in isopoda gills are abdominal other organs of aquatic respiration tracheal gills the aquatic larvae of many insects have a series of simple and divided external processes attached to the abdominal segments these are richly supplied by the trachea and are called tracheal gills rectal gills in the names of many insects have an inner surface of the rectum bears gills these gills are called rectal gills book gills these gills are seen in zephosaurids such as limulus species where the abdominal appendages have plate like book gills covered with a gill cover these gills in segments from 9th to 13th formed by the evasination of the posterior borders of opisthosoma each gill has about 150 lamellae which look like the delicate leaves of a book epipodites these are small but highly vascular leaf like membranous outgrowths of integument on the outer edge of the coxa of maxillipeds in the first three thoracic segments the anterior part of the gill chamber is present in crustaceans aerial respiration book lungs they are best absorbed in the respiratory organs of the arachnids namely scorpions and spiders book lungs are ophthalmic sac like structures that arise from the origin of the opisthosoma within which the delicate folds of the inner layer are arranged like book leaves these folds are largely vascular and thus respiration is dependent on circulation each book lung communicates with the exterior by a stigma they are considered to be modified abdominal appendages each book lung has an air cavity or atrial chamber on the ventral side that is opened to the outside by a slit like sparicle or stigmata opening on the ventrolateral side of the sternum the dorsal part of the book lung has about 150 vertical folds or lamellae arranged like book leaves each lamella is a hollow structure made up of two thin layers of respiratory epithelium figure showing the structural organization of a book lung of scorpion air breathing in the book lungs is influenced by the action of the dorso ventral and atrial muscles contraction of the dorso ventral muscles constrict the columnary chamber allowing air to exit the chamber through the stigmata when 
the atrial muscles contract the book lungs expand creating vacuum and sucking fresh air through the stigmata tracheal system it is the most important organ of aerial respiration this chitin lined tube is seen in almost all land arthropods such as insect centipedes millipedes and also in many arachnids the trachea originated as an invagination of the body wall as opposed to the gills which are evagenations two types of trachea are seen ventilation trachea oval in section and collapses after the exhalation of air and diffuse trachea rigid and doesn't collapse after exhalation structures of the trachea each trachea is a tube whose walls are made up of polygonal cells the wall of the trachea is made up of three layers these are the inner layer called the intima a middle layer of epithelium and an outer layer of basement membrane the intima is lined by spiral cuticular ridges called tenidia which prevent collapse the trachea open externally through small openings called spiracles or stigmata these spiracles are located on the sides of the body each spiracles opens into chamber called an atrium and a spiracle placed on a plate called a penetrine each spiracle has two lids to open and close foreign particles within the chamber are eliminated by a filtering apparatus which consists of either special bundles or a type of sieve like membrane some parts of the trachea dilated to form the air sacs they helps as a reservoir of air the finer branches of the trachea are called tracheoles which are without internal dentinal ridges a tracheole can be 1 mu in diameter and it reaches every cell of the body instead they are lined by a protein called trachein and are usually filled with a fluid in which oxygen dissolves and diffuses into the tissues the tracheal system delivers oxygen directly to the cells of the body and does not require blood to carry it insects generally have 10 pairs of spiracles two pairs of thorax and eight pairs of abdominal breathing is influenced by paired torgosternal muscles that connect the dorsal side of the body to the ventral side and hence their contraction compresses the abdominal cavity allowing air to move out by relaxing these muscles the abdominal cavity returns to its original size sucking air enters the tracheal tubes this figure shows a typical tracheal system in an insect this is the figure of tracheal system of respiration modification of the tracheal system in adult arthropods generally two pairs of thoracic and eight pairs of abdominal spiracles are present in all adult insects there are 12 pairs in the primitive state in some forms some spiracles may be absent secondary but they appear at least in some stages of development for example queen termites have only six pairs of abdominal spiracles instead of eight pairs 
the metathoracic pair of spiracles is absent in order lepidoptera hymenoptera coleoptera and some others in millipedes one pair of spiracles are present in each thoracic segment and two pairs of spiracles in each abdominal segment types of tracheal system in insect larvae based on functional spiracles polyp neustic the tracheal system is opened to the exterior by eight or more pairs of functional spiracles this again can be subdivided into hollow pneu stick when two pairs of thoracic and eight pairs of abdominal spiracles are active this term is used when 10 pairs of functional spiracles are present peripneu stick a respiratory system consisting of one thoracic and eight abdominal spiracles are present on each side of the body this term is denoted when there are abdominal spiracles on all segments of the abdomen hemipneustic respiratory system with one thoracic and seven abdominal spiracles are present on each side of the body the term is used when one or more pairs of spiracles are non functional oligoneustic in this type one or two pairs of spirals are functional it can be divided into the following three types amphipneustic when one pair of thoracic and one pair of post abdominal spiracles are present for example the larva of the common house fly metapneustic only one pair of post abdominal spiracles is functional for example the larva of mosquito propneustic only one pair of thoracic spiracles is functional for example the pupae of some diptera apneustic no spiral is present in functional state gaseous exchange occurs through the integuments seen between aquatic insect larvae